Hi, I'm Siv and today I'm going to be drawing an alpine goat. Now, you're wondering what an alpine goat is? Well, the alpine goat is a normal domestic goat and if you're wondering why it is called an alpine goat, I would tell you. So, basically, now it's found in India but it used to be found in France or now because and it was named after the French Alps. Now, we are going to start drawing this alpine goat. First, draw a medium-sized circle as the guideline. Now, the circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you still think it wants, you want it to be absolutely perfect, you can trace some rim, like the glass rim or a coin, so anything which is circular and big enough. Now, leave a little gap and draw another circle. Now, this is a tip, make the second circle, circle a little smaller. Although it'll be the same size is fine, if it's a little smaller, it'll give a little more structure to the body in the end. Now, double the gap you left between these two circles, you give for another circle which is coming. So you can see with your finger, these like that much gap you start off by making another circle over here. And now this circle will be smaller than both the circles. Clearly smaller. This is the guideline for the head. Okay, now we'll make an inverted U to give the shape of the mouth. The mouth. Like, I can't say it's exactly a U, but like the inverted kind of V, like the inverted V that we use. Okay, now we'll just connect these. So this will be the neck by just taking like a cur curved lines. Maybe we can shorten the neck a bit. Okay. Now, Let's move forward by giving the guidelines for the legs. Now, if you have watched my fox video, you would have got to know that I said the first two legs in any animal are straight and the hind legs are always bent. I'll show you. The first two legs are always straight and the hind legs are always bent in any animal. Like the hind legs, now if you want to know how, what is the shape of the hind legs, like it's like a triangle without the third line. Like when you make a triangle like that way, you take one slanted line, take it uh, the other way around and give it this for the guideline, this line. Now, the behind hind leg would go like curve and then come the same way. Now for the guideline of the tail, just make this kind of spiral kind of not fully a spiral yeah that much of a curve line okay now we are going to go on the details of the face first we are going to just work on the eye now before i work on the eye i'll make i'll make this kind of big plus sign which divides into four parts so i have i know i know like in which part the eye would be you can be more accurate this way so now on the second box, the second box, the second slice at the bottom, start creating an oval kind of shape, like a slanted oval kind of shape. And then end it with an almond like triangle again. Like the almond bit is like the fox, but this time it's fully like an oval, not like a circle. Now you must have seen a goat and sheep eye are like a goat and sheep's eye are like very horizontally oval shaped so now we're just gonna get that oval shape inside here that oval shape of the eyes and now we're gonna leave the glare bit the glare now we've gotten it a little dark so i'll just get it a little lighter I'll just do it. I'll just redo it. You can follow the guidelines again if you want to. Oh, 
okay that's fine for now and now we'll go on the ears now you might have noticed that a goat ear are a little like a dog's ear like the floppy kind of flappy ears it's like you take you take two lines just two straight lines very straight lines give them a curve at the end give them like that tree root kind of effect like give get them here get the curve here and just take it further ahead and just join it this is the outer ear and just get a semicircle for the inner ear the semicircle for the inner part now we'll be working on these details later on right now i'll just show the other ear so i'm getting it like in the effect like the other ear is flying in the air so that'll go just like wave line like the ocean waves and just join it at the end okay now going further i would like to introduce the nose now first we just start off with two dots i know that doesn't look at all like a nose right now then we take them forward into tear shapes then we take those tear shapes forward into this tr uh, inverted triangle shape and then we give we just shade a little like just we just move the pencil a little inside and just color it a little here and here and just make a line now that's fine for the nose you can you can even get that color a little outside that's how the nose of the coat is so that gives the ridge like even we have the ridge of the nose right the ridge that goes up and like that way okay now coming on to its lips and its mouth first get the oval the o half oval shape like that way the u that the u you're getting for the first one and then get that curve and now not not like how we did in the fox just take it that way take it straight and now go down just go down and just get these two lines here now this is the beard of the goat the most prominent part of the goat i guess take s letter s s s s just letter s it can be inverted any curved lines now that's we're working on the beard now those lines you made you can erase them and get the s there the curve now i would just like to tell a fact that the alpine goat has one of the longest beards of all goats and the mouth is perfectly designed for chewing as their hobby was it's perfectly designed for chewing leaves and grasses okay take it forward towards the cheekbone now just you are wondering how to create the cheekbone it's actually the simplest part make a u that way just like that way and it is the end as we are going to be working over here later okay now get the face shape a little more clear by just getting those letter c i guess like let us see going here just do that all over the face now it doesn't look like a much much like a goat because we have not made its horn yet now it's the time for the horns like maybe like if you cut the moon in half like the crescent shape in half the crescent shape the half the crescent shaped moon that's the shape you'll get like this shape and make sure that the first ear would be the first horn sorry would be longer than the second one because the second one is showing from the back so it doesn't give that it's it's not showing from the same angle to get the more realistic look of the goat make sure that the first first one is longer Okay, I'm just erasing a little bit of here as I made the second one equally long. I'm just One second, I'm just erasing. Okay, now as I was working, 
on the horns i'll give them a little c shape now the c we are making this time will be inverted like this like you can take it as a very broad u it gets thinner and thinner as it goes see right now it's broad it's getting now thinner getting even thinner into the horn shape now we'll follow the s pattern we did for the beard again letter s letter s letter s s s s now for the neck it'll be a little longer as the goat has a lot of fur on the neck i think so it has a lot of fur on the neck now take uh, we'll give a break to the s pattern and just come on the legs now copy just copy the legs twice the leg shape that we made even in the fox one i did this now now for making the hoof take one curve make a line next to it take another curve and make a line next to it that's how the hoof is now it look they look like claws kind of but they're hooves and we just make letter cr the cross the cross symbol now that way we'll follow the same copy copy the hoof cross now coming on to the s pattern again for the stomach s s s s s s s s s s S S S S S S S S. Now it's going. Now it's going there to give the stomach shape. Okay. Now we do the same with the hind legs. Copy. Copy. Hoof. Cross. Now the cross is actually fur, and we are giving it in very simple steps. copy now make sure that the hind leg the behind hind leg the back hind leg is the thickest of all like that's how many animals body structure is it, the hind legs are much like they are much more muscular than the front legs and to give the muscle effect you're just getting the effect of the joints coming that way the muscles okay cross okay now the goat is almost ready now we just have to get on its tail and get the strokes the tail strokes like in curved lines going all over that way now we'll just darken this all before we erase the guidelines and just get uh, just darken make sure you don't darken the guidelines or it'll be they'll be very difficult to erase Okay, time to erase. Okay, now we are going to erase this. Now when I'm erasing this, some of my lines are getting they're vanishing so i'll just make them again i'll i'll show this i'll show that part after the erasing after i'm done erasing all everything now for the face this eraser is fine but maybe a smaller eraser would give more detail like would would be safer to use for the face structure the goat okay now now time to get on to the legs and the hooves the hind legs just make sure that no lines are left here now before we end this video i would just like to give not proper shading but just a few highlights in some places where they needed 
so next to the eyes just give a little bit of just give a little bit of volume by just getting a little kind of strokes next to them that's the first place we need to do it now the second place we need to do it is the neck and the stomach we just repeat the s I, so I don't think repeating the S is necessary, but you can just take normal line strokes and just give them a the little volume there, as there the shadows are coming of the coat. Even under the stomach, it'll really help in the drawing. Uh, it'll really help to add value to the drawing. Lastly, to the tail, and now we just got gone the main part and the last part which is getting the ho hooves and the horns colored and give value to them now for this i'm using a graphite prisma color pencil you i would you can use a normal black pencil also but just make sure you're not using a lead pencil for this you can use a black colored pencil also first i'll go on to the hooves now i'm just leaving a little bit of glare on the hooves to give it that shiny kind of effect on the hooves, it's getting that shiny effect. Getting that shiny effect on the hooves. On all. From outside is dark and from inside it's lighter. Okay, now I'll go on to the horns. First, before I just get in the shading, I'll just outline these. So, it's visible. And I'll, and I'll do the same thing. I'll, I'll shade in this direction, in the C direction. But this time, I'll, I'll just leave the last bit just get from other side to give it the glare. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you everyone and I would love to comment. I would love you to comment and if you came up with a similar result, you can even share your photos in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Bye. Bye.